Welcome to Ice Coach Online Quarantine Edition. Today, I'm going to show you a series of exercises and stretches you can do to improve your flexibility, specifically for your spiral. Since we're doing this from home, grab a mat if you have one or go on a carpeted area, put some fuzzy socks on, and let's get stretching. The first stretch I like to do is called a V stretch. So get your legs out as much as you can. Um, some people will be more turned out or flexible than others, but that's all right. And what you wanna do is get in a V shape, put your arms up, and go forward as far as you possibly can. It's all right if it's not that far at first and you wanna just gradually sink in and go further and further and stretch. Try to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. And after about 30 seconds, you want to ease out of the stretch. Don't abruptly kind of pop back up. Ease out of it. So from here, the next stretch we're gonna do targets our hamstrings. And we're gonna put our legs together. And same thing, arms up and over. Grab your feet if you can. Uh, if not, grab your shins or your ankles, however far you can go. And try to get your stomach laying on your thighs and hold this position for a good 30 seconds. You don't want your back too rounded so that there's space here. You want to try to flatten it out and sort of just lay on your legs and hold for 30 seconds. After that, you'll ease out of it again. Okay, next we're gonna do another stretch that targets the hamstrings. Now, um, if you're not flexible enough, you can use a band if you have one. If not, a belt works perfectly fine as well. What you wanna do, um, I'll start with my right leg first. You put the belt or the band around your foot and try to pull it up as high as you can with keeping this leg straight. This knee should be straight. And hold it for about 30 seconds. You'll really feel a deep stretch in your hamstring and it's really good. Once you've done the first leg, ease out of it again. Never come out of a stretch abruptly or too quickly. And then make sure you do your other leg for 30 seconds, same thing. The next set of stretches we're going to do are for our hip flexors. Uh, we really want nice flexible hip flexors so we can get that leg nice and high in the spiral, but we don't wanna jump into these stretches without warming up our hips first. So, um, kind of grab a wall. I'll use this wall as my bar. <laughs> and uh, you wanna do a passe with your leg turned in and then turn it out, back down. Passe, turn out, back down. I would do about 10 of those on one leg and then same again on the other leg. Passe, turn out, back down. So now we're going to do pretty much the same thing but a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. You're gonna hold on to the wall again and you're going to do that turned in passe, but turn all the way in and then back out. All the way in and back out. Let's just look at that from another angle. So here and out, here and out, here and out. So once we've warmed up our hips and our hip flexors, we're now ready to do some lunges. So, get on your knees. I'm gonna do my right leg out first and just kind of ease into the lunge, nice and easy. Ideally, you want 
this front leg to be at a 90 degree angle. So make sure it's there. And you can put your hands on your knees for support. And again, if you're not very flexible, just sort of ease as deep as you can. Don't go into it too quickly and try to stay there for about 30 seconds. This really targets the hip flexor and you're gonna feel a nice deep stretch. Now, it's important when you go into these stretches to not force it. You wanna go nice and slow so that you don't injure yourself. Now remember with all these exercises, make sure to do the other leg. You want to be even on both legs and do it for at least 30 seconds. If you're feeling quite comfortable in it, you can even push it to 45 or to a minute. After your lunges, now would be a good time to go into the splits if you're capable of doing so. If not, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a tutorial on the splits. Um, so, from a lunge, you could put both hands down, get that front leg out, and ease down into the splits. And try to hold it for 30 seconds if you can. If not, again, not the end of the world. And for those uber flexible people, you can even bend over and get that nice deep stretch. So next I'm gonna show you a couple core and back strength exercises. Um, for a good spiral, you really need to have a strong back and equally a strong core. So the first core exercise we're gonna do is planks. So you will go on your knees, elbows, legs out, make sure your back and your butt are in one line so you don't want your butt too high like this or too low like this and hold this position for 30 seconds after you hold this for 30 seconds switch to one side again make sure you're all in one line don't drop your hips keep them as high up as possible this really gets your obliques and hold for 30 seconds and then you'll do the same thing other side okay so now we're gonna do a really good at home back strengthening exercise and it's Superman's so you want to lay flat on your stomach arms out and you want to lift your legs and your arms and your back all at the same time, as high as you can, and slowly back down. Um, I would go for 10 of these if you can. And just go up, slowly back down, and up. In between your sets of supermans, make sure you take the time to go into child's pose right after. This stretches out your back after doing a really kind of intense back exercise. So you'll wanna put your feet together, sit on them, knees uh, maybe a good five or six inches apart, and stretch up and over. And really just stretch out your back for a good 20 to 30 seconds. Another really good back strengthening exercise is back raises. And what I'm gonna do is just stick my feet under this piece of furniture, which you can also do at home, like under the couch or a chair or something. Make sure it's nice and locked in there. And you'll lay back out and lift your back up like so and back down 
Lift as high as you can and back down. And I would say two sets of 10 for this exercise would be really good. Uh, your back will definitely be sore the next day, but it is a really good back strengthening exercise. Don't forget to do child's pose in between your sets of back raises. So our last and final exercise is warming up our arabesque, as we say in ballet, otherwise known as spiral on the ice. So you will hold onto the wall like so. Make sure your foot is, your standing leg is parallel because that's how it would be on the ice. And you're going to do a tendu back and just lift in the 45 degree region and try to hold it there. Nice and steady, maybe even take your arm off the wall to balance. Then from here, let's try lifting it to 90 degrees, about where our spiral would be. Really try to keep your back up as you're doing it for that nice, elegant, arabesque position and hold it at 90 degrees, maybe even try letting go of the wall and balancing. And for those of you who are very confident and a bit more flexible, let's try getting it over 90 degrees. So here and Now, for those of you that can't quite get that leg up to 90 degrees, don't worry, it's not gonna happen overnight. Um, the purpose of these exercises and stretches is to help you get there. And if you do it weekly, you'll definitely see some improvement over time. On a final note, it's really important that you do both the stretches and the strength exercises that we covered today because even if you have the flexibility to do a beautiful spiral, you'll find that it's really hard to hold that leg really high without the strength. So make sure you do both. I hope you enjoyed this video with me. If you did, give Ice Coach Online a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks guys.